Hey guys, I'm going to show you the personal journaling magazine that's coming out this week. It's coming out on Thanksgiving Day and it's called the Journal CEO Magazine. It's a magazine for personal journaling and it's the only personal journaling magazine in the world right now that's being actively produced is that actively produced that focuses on plain text-based journaling and text-based journaling is what I love. There's magazines out there for art journaling and things like poetry and becoming a published novelist and stuff like that. But we couldn't find any personal journaling magazine that's for text-based journaling that's being actively produced. I'm so excited that this thing is here. This Thanksgiving day when this magazine comes out is also the 10 year journal anniversary of how long I've been regularly journaling, which is trippy because it's been, I mean, I can't believe it's been 10 years, but I want to show you a few pages of this. These are the print proofs of the print edition. There's normal print magazine that's eight and a half by 11 coming out a little bit after Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving day, the Kindle unlimited version, you can read the Kindle unlimited version free. If you have Kindle unlimited, there's a normal Kindle version coming out and you can read it on a like normal Kindle or Kindle fire. It's just, I'm really excited to have this thing like as available to as many people, like however you want to, <laughs> however you want to do it, paper or digital, <laughs> but but yeah, I'm, I've been wanting something like this for years and couldn't find a personal journaling magazine. So we finally have one now and thought I'd show you a few pages. There's over 50 pages in this thing. There's articles on types of journals to keep and finding your perfect journal. There's some, there's an article about pins. I love pins. What's, there's an article, what should I write about? Five fun first page ideas, best cheap journal supplies, how to get started journaling. Journal collection and stack love. Yeah, baby. <laughs> um, creating an about me page. Journal cover decorating ideas. Overcoming writer's rut. A collage sneak peek. And all sorts of fun stuff. This is an, uh, creating an about me page. I look back on the about me pages that I did in fall 2006. And it's just like a time capsule on a page. I look back on those pages where I wrote my favorite movies. Napoleon Dynamite. I really don't remember that being my favorite movie. It's just funny how things change so much over the years. And those pages are really... Cool to look back on now. And I have confetti here. I, I traveled with confetti and the travel security people were like, why do you have confetti? I had like toilet paper and pound cake and confetti in my bag. You're like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, I thought I wanted to make it special for you. So yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll try to show you some more of the magazine when the print edition comes in since it'll be bigger. It'll be like a normal 8.5 by 11. So hopefully I can show you more then. But I'm going to read it on Kindle Unlimited. It's free there on Thanksgiving Day when it comes out. Here's an article, what to write about, and 10 common things. And yeah, it's over 50 pages, so I'll probably leave it at that. But yeah, I wanted to have a magazine for personal journaling, text-based style, because that's what's really done it for me. Text-based journaling, there's just not the pressure of trying to create a pretty collage or pretty painting or anything like that, or scrapping, booking with a bunch of crap and adding details. And I mean, those pages are pretty and they're fun but that's just not my thing. I'm <laughs> not not really patient enough for that. I've really gotten a lot of reflection and a lot of like self-understanding from journaling for the past 10 years. A lot of venting and but it's really been a I mean, I the main reason why I stuck with journaling so long was just reminding myself why I got into it and how helpful of a a tool for coping and self-reflection if I had started this earlier. If I had, you know, a regular journal where I really felt free to write about anything as a young teen or as a young kid, that would have been so helpful, especially some of the times where you feel like people can't understand you or, you know, you're, you just <laughs> don't feel like telling people what you're going through or your emotions and you just need an outlet. Like, that's <laughs> 10 years of this is, I mean, <laughs> I have a lot of outlet venting for emotions, but it's really been a good tool and I just wish I had found it got into it earlier and felt free enough to write about anything I like looking back on daily life pages too like what I did that day I mean it's really cool to look back on those sort of pages and try to remember what my life was about but the main thing was just having a place to be able to you know write about anything that's going on with you emotions things you want to do in your life and just all sorts of stuff <laughs> I've written about everything from my hairy legs to my bucket list in life and to from think just normal stuff I did that day you know some people say well my life's not fun to write about but if you look back on 
even my journal from 10 years ago, I can't remember all the stuff in, that happened in my own life. It's just like looking at, back at a, like a time capsule of that. If you look at, if you just think about how amazing it would be to have a hundred year old journal from an ancestor, even just from some random stranger in your city that you find in an antique store, like how just quaint and old fashioned a lot of the stuff would seem like, you know, someone reading about someone taking a horse and carriage down to town. And you just look back at a journal like that and you'd be like, wow, that's so, you know, that's so weird. Like it just doesn't seem like, uh, it almost seems like, like a novel or something. If you're reading like, you know, a hundred plus year old journal, just that doesn't, you just can't imagine living like that. And our journals will be the same thing in a hundred years. People will be like, oh, they had an iPhone. How quaint. It's like, you know, talking about a telegram like an iPhone 6, you know, whatever's out now, 7 I think is out. But all the stuff that we think is so, you know, techno technologically advanced right now, in 100 years really won't be. And all the stuff that we think is quaint from the 1950s, you know, in the 2050s will be like, oh, how quaint. 2016, it was just, look at their old patterns and stuff. Look, I really have like confetti all over my family's house. That's, that's fabulous. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. And I... Hope you guys like the magazine. You can check it out free with Canon Limited, or if you want to submit articles to it or feedback. And yeah, I'll leave it at that. Have a good night, and I'm so excited this thing's coming out. Okay, bye.